Hello. Good day everyone. Welcome to our course Forensic Ballistics. I am retired Colonel Geraldo P. Rojas, registered criminologist and forensic firearms examiner. Let's go first in a brief history in the study of forensic ballistics. As you see in the slides, the origin of the word ballistics comes, comes from the word ballien, which means to throw, and, and from the Roman word ballista, which is a machine to hurl a stone. So, in the picture, makikita nyo yung uh, ancient weapon ng uh, mga sundalo noon that uh, they are using this kind of weapon to hurl a stone against their enemies. And uh, in our modern times, the uh, ang equivalent nitong uh, weapon na ito is a ballistic missiles. Uh, so, nung, uh, pa, nung unang panahon, ang kanilang mga gamit ay yung mga short firearms is uh, bow and arrow, spears, clubs, and knives. In our modern times, ang uh, mga weapons na ginagamit ng mga sundalo ngayon ay uh, nakikita natin mayroong revolver, pistols, rifles, shotguns, and bazookas. Ballistics is the study of the motion of projectiles and the condition that affects their motion. So, it is the study of motion. It is the uh, about the movement of the projectiles. Projectile is a metallic or non-metallic cylindrical object. Ito po ay uh, uh, one part of the cartridge. Uh, always remember that the there are four four parts of a cartridge. We have the bullet, the fired cartridge case, the gunpowder, and the primer. Uh, bakit uh, tinawag na, ano, ano naman tong projectile? Projectile, dahil uh, pag pumutok na yung cartridge, o yung bala sa Tagalog, pag ito ay pumutok at tumaan ito sa barrel ng firearm, ang tawag na sa kanya ay fired bullet or projectile. So, the definition of projectile is a metallic or non-metallic cylindrical object. Bakit uh, non-metallic? Uh, may mga metals na hard bullet, may mga lead, at uh, sometimes mayroon namang uh, plastic. Forensic comes from the word forum. It means public discussion, a place, meeting, or medium where ideas and views on a particular issue can be exchanged. Usually, ang forensic is dinidiscuss ito sa, uh, sa court of justice. That is a place where uh, the idea of the expert witness and the view of the expert witness uh, is discussed. So, particularly in the court of justice. Okay. Before the mass manufacturing of guns began, barrels and bullets, molds were handmade by gunsmith, as you can see in the screen. In 1835, Colonel Calvin Henry Goddard of Scotland Yard used a bullet comparison to solve a murder. He traced a flaw in the bullet shape to the pistol of a suspect. Okay. So, Colonel Calvin H. Goddard is the father of the modern ballistics. As you can see in the screen, yan ang uh, isa sa mga ancient weapon. If you saw the movie The Patriot by Mel Gibson, so yun ang kanilang, yan ang kanilang ginamit na barino. Makikita nyo na uh, very manual 
ang paggamit ng baril at that time. Isang isang lagay ng bala, isang putok, lagay ng bala, another putok. Ano lang ang uh, ganyan na uh, kahirap maging sundalo at that time. As you can see, uh, on the screen, Charles F. Estillo case. Yan po yung unang kaso na uh, ginamitan po ng bullet comparison microscope. Yan. So that is the first comparison microscope that, that has been developed to solve the case. This is now the modern bullet comparison microscope uh, used by the PNP Crime Laboratory of Pangasinan Police, Police Provincial Office. 